Welcome to Marchmont St Giles online advent calendar. Today is the 8th of December which means there's only 17 days left till Christmas. On this day in 1980 John Lennon of the Beatles fame was murdered outside the Dakota building exactly 40 years ago today. Psalm 27, 1, 4 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? One thing I ask of the Lord, that will I seek after, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. I'm a member of Marchmont St Giles Church. Um, I've been coming here for, for years and years and years. I have two children who've been part of the church, part of the nativity play. Obviously they're disappointed that we're not doing the live nativity this year. But um, we will still be here and, and doing a variety of things together. Um, part of my, um, my role within uh, the Church of Scotland is working with Crossreach. My title is GERFEC Development Officer. Now GERFEC stands for Getting It Right for Every Child. Um, and one thing certainly Marchmont St Giles and many of the churches in Scotland uh, know me for is the knitting pattern for the well-being octopus. Now Cal, um, also known as Calamari Shanari, um, is known for the eight legs. So Shanari is part of the getting it right for every child. It stands for the eight well-being indicators, things we really you know, need and want to talk to our children about. So Cal works in a really fun way and with lots of um, use with children and adults because um, each leg stands for the indicators. So safe, healthy, achieving, nurtured, active, responsible, respected and included. Certainly included for, for Christmas would be a great thing. Now Part of Cal and part of all of the work I've been doing this year, and certainly for COVID, um, hundreds of cows were knitted the previous year, 2018-19, and were being shared around Scotland, particularly in churches and primary schools. And then, of course, with lockdown, schools closing March, April, what we're saying, cow was put on the shelf. I'm talking to schools and it's like the elf on the shelf. Cal is on the shelf because children can't share even cuddly toys in class at the moment. What COVID has allowed me to do um, is set up a social enterprise um, and um, start to offer a new book, Wellbeing Game, to schools. Um, and I'm delighted to say um, this book and Cal were published in the Teaching Scotland magazine last week. So you'll see it in the in the edition or online. But yep, Cal's game. Cal will be cuddled next year. We're, we're ready to share this throughout Scotland. Um, and you can find out all about Cal on the new website, which is startatthebeginning.co.uk, um, where you can ask me for more details. So ambitions for Christmas, um, to have some rest. I've been working at home since March. Um, and even when you're meant to be on holiday, you kind of don't stop. Um, and also to see lots of family and friends, um, not directly, but via Zoom. Um, we've got friends everywhere. We've got neighbors who we can look after instead of getting in that car or getting on that plane to go and see friends far and wide. Um, we're planning lots of fun activities in the parks, in the streets, in our neighborhood. So happy Christmas. Christmas Giving by Iris W. Bray. Christmas is for giving and for showing that we care, for honouring the Christ child with the loving gifts we share. The wise men gave of riches, the shepherds faith and love. Each gift in its own measure was smiled on from above. Let every gift be treasured, not always size or price determines the extent of love and willing sacrifice. 
Handsome gifts with festive trim bring smiles of sweet content, but modest gifts of humble means are oft times heaven sent. Whether it be large or small, each gift will share its part, the message of true Christmas joy if given from the heart. Let us pray. May God be in my sleep. May Christ be in my dreams. May the Spirit be in our resting, in our thoughts and in our hearts. May the sacred three dwell in our soul always. Amen. May flowers line your path. May sunshine lighten your day, may songbirds serenade you with fanfares, and may rainbows run beside you all the days of your life, and may contentment be your companion this day and every day. Amen. <laughs>